really handsome boy. Look at you. Look how cute you look. Hello. Ooh, kids, you shaking, getting ready for the live? Hi, Claudio. Hey, Steven. Hi, everybody. What's going on, you guys? We've missed all of you guys, too. Bloob's here. Bloob is, um, he, he's peeking over there in his cage. We can't, um, do you see him? Look at him peeking in there. Peekaboo. So Bird and Bloob, are, they don't get along too well. Well, Bird. Bird doesn't. She's... She's not the nicest, so we're still, Bird's out right now. Um, so we're giving her, giving her a few minutes. Well, um, and then we'll switch Bloob and Bird out. Can you say hi, Gibby? Hi to your friends. Yeah, all the birds come out. We let all the birds out. Just right now, we'll. While we're doing this live, we're going to keep Bird and Blue se separated. So when Bird has a few minutes out, then I'll switch them for now. <clears throat> I think Gizzy wants to train Mom today, though. Huh? He wants to train you. No. Yeah. No. He does. Train Mom. No, no, no. I train you. <laughs> I train you, Giz. Uh, welcome, Diana. So glad that you, you you found us and you're here now. We love it. Squark off. <laughs> what you looking at, huh? Huh? What you doing? Pika high. <laughs> I still love that. Um, I don't know if he has a favorite color or not. Blue. Yeah, I think he does like blue as well. That's the one he kept choosing out of all these toys. Um, all of our birds are... So Giz... Gizmo's pretty tame. Well, he's very tame with you. Huh. Bird is extremely tame. I could do anything with her, and I'll show you. She's here with me um, on my shoulder. <laughs> and... Um, Leaves on your shirt. Yeah, I realized today that I have an Indian ring neck on this shirt, and I've had this shirt before I even had one, so I love it. Um, and then, yeah, Bloob, um, Bloob is still, he doesn't come on to our, like, he won't step up to us, but he'll fly to our, like, head or knee, um, and he wants to be biased all the time, though. So he's, he's getting there, but he does talk a lot, and we're hoping that Emily, Emily, he loves talking with Emily, so hopefully... Um, there could be some training tonight. I don't know why the birds like to talk to me. I know, they love talking to you. It's Bird, my annoying voice. Bird's the only one that like mimics me yeah. kind of thing. Yeah. She's my baby though. Yeah, Giz is the oldest. He's 17. And Bloob is seven and Bird is two. So. And there's Bloob over there. I'll show you Bloob again. There he is. He's in his cage right now. Until I'll switch him out in a minute. Uh, I'm going to give Bird some outside time without her feeling territorial. She's still working on territorial with him. So we'll let him out in a bit. So he can come out and hang out. He probably talk better in there. He does talk really good in there. Each of our birds have their own cage, and um, we actually sell, so we're starting an online parrot store um, called the Squawk Shop, and we're actually launching that. Um, we might have a pre-sale next month, but we're going to be launching that at the beginning of July, and we'll be selling. So Gizmo's cage is one that um, we have. Bloob's cage is another example of one that we have, and then birds, this is also, these are all the three cages that we would be selling um, haven't built I haven't built, we have a new one for Gizmo as well that we're building that's even bigger than this one. 
Um, but I, it's in the garage. I just haven't built it yet. He does look pretty. Look at that boy. Look at that boy. I really should put on a different shirt, though. Bird loves destroying my shirt. Let's see. This is us. Say hi, Bird. Say hi. Oh, no. She loves destroying shirts, so... Like, especially buttons. Come here. Come here. She's a... She's she's a wild one now. She loves to cause mayhem and destruction. Hi, Gibbs. Are you one of... Uh, she is a Jende Conyer. She is a Jende Conyer. <clears throat> Very similar to the Sun Conyer. But yeah, she's, she's a handful. She is. All right. She did take off. She was like, see ya. She flew up to her, her shrine right here. This is her little play stand like thing in the and she's just chewing on some wood. Ah, <laughs> oh, Kelly, I love that. Tell your gray we said hello. Hello. Gibbs, okay. I'm gonna get my computer, babe. Yes. And I'm gonna go sit over there. Right. And I'll be in the chat. So that way you can do some training with Giz. Okay. Okay. Giz, you ready for some training? Cause you're you're gonna train mom, right? Mom thinks she trains you, but you're gonna train her, right? You're gonna train mom. Yeah. Say I train mom. I train mom. Wait. Okay. <laughs> Step up? Yeah. <laughs> I just, there we go. They can see your gorgeous face this way. Hang 
Hang on, Gibbs is just tightening himself up. Kyle's in the chat. Chat. Okay, we over this yet? I need to get your back. Oh, you want to spray, don't you? See, he's a good boy. Come on, your turn. Come here. Good. Come on. All right. All right. Doing it again in a minute. Cause you only wash your face and body. <laughs> Love you. Yes, 
thinking about it. Well, do you know what? You're not even looking, so you're not as any better than me. <laughs> He's hiding from me. We're gonna try and trigger Bloob. Hang on. Chat. Hi guys. Well, they're well, they're not talking. We figured we'd come talk and answer some questions or something. I have Bird with me. I was gonna show. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Upside down. Ready? Ready? Bat bird. Nope. Hold on. <laughs> I'm supposed to do a bat bird. Ready? <laughs> Never mind. So trying. Every time. So trying. We were just had this down until the live. Gizmo. <laughs> um, hi, Pam. Yeah, that's like point training or something. Did you break it? No. Why? Look at the end. That's how it came. Oh. Wow. Can Giz do Batman Bird? Nah. Well, if he's in his cage, he will. He'll go upside down, be Bat Bird. Bird's dramatic as heck, too, by the way. She's the most dramatic bird I've ever known. Batbird versus Superbird was a flop. <laughs> Where let's I could do a Superbird, but let me get a treat for her. Yeah. Oh, there she is. Hi, bird. Hi, bird. Hi, bird. Good girl, my good girl. There she is. Here's my good girl. You wanna step up for me? Step up? Yeah. Oh, wow. Michael in the chat says, we have a 71 year old Timney who was abused by his old owners he has a big vocabulary, but we don't know how to tame him. Oh, how, so hard. How, how long have you had him for? It's so hard. How long have you had your Timmy for? This is her. This is Bird. She's, she's my baby. I could do anything to her. Can you lift your wing for me? Thank you. Can we say hello, please? No, say hello. Wave. Wave. <laughs> You're not being good on camera right now. Look it. Okay, do your bat bird. Do your bat bird. Bat bird. There we go. 
There we go. Hi, Knight. Thank you so much. Ah, oh, thank you for joining and hanging out with us. We love it. Bird, look it. Come on. Up, up, up. Oh, up, up. Up, up. Good girl. Good girl. <laughs> she's got, honestly, she's got, she's full of attitude right now. She's full of attitude right now, this girl. Yes, you are, aren't you? Mwah. Yeah, she gets up from the egg. Sorry, I might, I might have missed some stuff here. Okay, Let's see if Michael, 36, wait, you've had him for 36 years? Oh, wow. Uh, oh, that's really hard if you've had him that long, how to tame him, because it's, it's about trust, but you think after 36 years, you could make them trust you. Do you want to come say hi? Oh, I am hi. You can hear me. Um. Oh, bat bird. Bat bird. Bat bird. I would recommend... Bat bird. Just... <laughs> what do you do? Do you recommend, like, where like, you kind of back off a bit? Yeah, and kind of let... See if the bird makes any moves? Yeah. So... We, we never Sorry, guys. But that's not your page. Come on. Up, up. Good girl. Take you. So, okay, sorry. So, what? yeah, we recommend it's hard because it, if you had them for that long, it's really difficult. What we do with Blue, because Blue, who's right here um, in the cage here, right there. Oh, wow, I can't even point on camera. You see what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, like, pointing way over there. He's there. Um... We always let our birds make the first move. So Giz, he did, was not tame when we got him at all. Um, he obviously could speak super, super well, but he wasn't tame, and we always let him make the first move. We work from home, so I'm not sure your situation, but we feel like that is a lot easier um, and gives him more time because we're, we literally are with him all day long. So every hour that we're awake, we're basically with our birds. Um, bird, come on. Off him. Up, up. Come. Bird. <laughs> She's feisty. So, yeah, we, um, because we're at home with our birds all day long, we, they get to make a lot of moves for themselves and build that trust and we're able to talk to them and, and show them love. Honestly, Gizmo is still learning. We've had him for just over a year. And he's still just warming up today. For the very first time, he climbed the stairs. Yeah. And that, you know, we've been working on that for, like, for a long time. Like, he's had the ability to do it. Today was the first time he took the time to do it. Oh, thank you so much, Heather. I appreciate that. So, the ring neck. Yeah, thank you so much, Heather. Um, our ring neck bloob, who's right in here, <clears throat> he's still afraid of the, um, the tripod a bit. And we're going to take him out in a minute. Oh, and I can take him out now. Because Bird just went back in her cage. So you guys can see him. We're just separating them because Bird is... Come on. He'll come out. He loves coming out. So um, Blue is seven years old. He was part of a breeding flock. Um, he, so he was left in his cage and he was just a, like, a breeding pair. But his mate passed away from egg binding. And basically that egg binding is when a female cannot pass the egg properly. So it gets stuck in her canal and she could die. She did die. Which is really unfortunate because she was probably young. Um, and so the breeder did not want to rebreed him with another female. Um, which So therefore she, she said he's, she's no use. He's no use to her anymore which is really sad. So we saw him and we said, um, and she was selling him for a big fee because she wanted money from another breeder. Um, and we paid that just because we wanted to get him out of that, out of that system and, uh, and home to us. Oh, let me see, can this go up higher? No. Okay, I'm gonna turn it back on Gizzy. He's over here. Gibbs. 
Just chilling. Hey, how are we smoking? Yeah, he'll come, he'll come around. He'll come around and talk. Um, but Gizmo is 17. And then Bloob is 7. And Bird is 2 years old. Yep, so Gizmo is the eldest boy. And he's the one that takes care of our good boy Bloob and teaching him. And they learn from each other already, which is amazing. And um, we do have a fourth bird, but he won't be staying with us. We rescued him. Literally, like, not, not like rescued from another family, but he was, um, unfortunately, he was set. He was abandoned. Yeah, he was abandoned. Just let out. And the reason why we say that is we've literally tried to contact. We contacted everybody we could. Every Facebook page, every vet, every pet stores and... Yeah. On yeah, we made stories, we've TikTok. made TikToks, we've made YouTube posts um, about him, and no claimed nobody's claimed him. So, unfortunately, he, um, unfortunately, oh, where'd you go? I'm just clearing some space in case he wants oh. to show up. He's having a little fly. <laughs> where'd you go, Blueby? Okay. <laughs> oh, it's my baby. Yeah, he's scared of the tripod, so, but, um, yeah, so unfortunately this other bird, which I can, I can actually, I'll take the phone off and show you guys, because Bloob is not afraid, he's not afraid of the, uh, the phone at all, just the, uh, the tripod, silly enough, because we can go right up to Blooby and say hi. Hi, Bloob, look at you. You're a handsome blue boy. Yes, you are. You're a handsome blue boy. <gasps> this little guy. Where are you? Little green cheek on you. So this is the guy that we think was abandoned. Um... He's very timid though, like he is not tame at all. He's very scared. Not of like, of people really. It's kind of hard to see him, but there he is. <laughs> He's a cutie. Hi. So we've had him in our care for about a week now. Um, we're giving it a few more days just to see if the owner comes forward. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so we're giving him a little bit more time um, to see if, if his owner comes forward. But again, we've we've reached out and we every single day somebody's sharing about him, but nobody's come forward, so even if someone was an uncle, someone had to But unfortunately it's a, this is the time of year that birds um, a lot of times get abandoned and it's very, very sad because this time of year they're very they go through hormonal changes, right? So they're very, they are known to bite. They can get aggressive. So people feel like, oh, wow. And maybe they bought them for their kids because a lot of people buy birds for their kids, which is silly. Um, and then they bite their kid and then they think, oh, heck no, we're getting rid of this bird. And some people are crazy and they don't want to go through the hassle of finding it a new home. And they think, oh, this bird has wings. It'll be fine outside. No, this little guy's wings are clipped. Yeah, he was so hungry, but he has clipped wings, and we're, he's lucky that he didn't get eaten by the other, like, we have magpies in the area that would have totally destroyed him. Um, we also have a lot of bobcats and stuff that could have yeah. e easily gotten him. So, and he would have definitely died from the big smoke storm we had from the wildfires. So we're really grateful that we were able to get him and capture him and take him into our home so he's safe until we either find his owners or... We do have a home lined up for him we if... Two, well, we have two good homes. Yeah, we have two good homes lined up for him if not. Because we definitely don't have the ability to take him on. Well, he, we could, but we, I'm a firm believer that you need to spend enough, as much time with the bird you have. Yeah. We can, we can help other birds, but we can't keep them all. Exactly. Even though the little green cheek guy is so cute. He's so cute. He's adorable. 
Oh, Heidi, we will definitely tell Gizzy. And Gizzy, if you guys are patient and hang out with us for a while, um, you're definitely going to get some talking from both Bloob. Uh, Bloob talks amazing. So if you guys are patient and hang out with us, you'll definitely hear some talking from this guy. <laughs> and as you can see, he's, he's not afraid of cameras at all. I'll turn the camera around so you can see himself. Maybe he'll say hi to himself. Hold on. Can you say hi? <gasps> Who's that? Who's that? Who's that guy? Who's that guy? Can you give him a kiss? Can you give him a kiss? <laughs> so cute. Yeah, he, he actually loves the phone. He loves technology. He comes onto our computers. He says hi to himself on our, he'll come onto our iPad, on our phone. Hi. <laughs> You're a cutie. But he's... The thing that he seems scared of is... Um, hands. Hands and, um, like, cloths, like blankets, uh, towels, towels, yeah. Towels, anything like that. But that was probably because that was the only way they could catch him. Yeah, we think that his old family must have just thrown a towel over him just to throw him, take him wherever he needs to go. Um, without properly working with him. So, you'll get there, though. Anyways, should we go back to Giz? Come on, Bloop. Fly over here. We'll go back to Giz. Here we go. Here we go. Here's Gizmo. There you go. All right. Hi, Lisa. Okay, let's see. I'll walk away again. <laughs> let's. Maybe you should set up the top and I'll sit in the bathroom. Okay, uh, yeah. He's, he's really normally loud on the toilet. Who's that? Both. And Bloob, yeah. Okay. And now he's looking chilled. Gizzy, Heidi says she loves you. Ooh. a snack to wake you up. Yeah, he'd probably take a snacky. No. Well, there's some in the doorway to the right there, the top. Some snap peas there. They're not the best, but. Oh, I love that, Richard. I love that. Aw. Love all our little, just all the birdies that, like, people say that they love. Like, they, their birds watch Gizzy, which I love it. You little bit. Come on, you got to eat things other than cups. <laughs> Here, Hang let's on. leave it there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hold on. Did you? Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. <laughs> okay. So I should do a test. What's that? I should put a card on that. I'm going to back the camera up slightly. Um, if you, you're you going to go, so you, you're you going to watch it? Um, do you have my iPad? Your devices go on it? Yeah. I was just going to go in the toilet. Please. Look, can you use my, f oh, this I is my phone. <laughs> okay, let me check my battery life. Oh, yeah, you Hold on. Um, I'm back. We're going to, Okay. So what we're gonna do, cause Gizmo and Bloob talk really well when we kind of leave. Um, and then once they get talking, Emily can come back in and join them and train, do some training with them. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'll see you guys in the chat. Oh, Cosmo's probably at home. <laughs> Somebody said, where's Cosmo? Sometimes she comes on and joins our lives. She probably, she, well, I don't know, she wasn't with Bruce earlier in the invite. But, um. Bye, Cindy Cat. Thanks for hanging out with us. Um, yeah, that is a snap pea right there. Gizzy loves snap peas. He's just, honestly, he loves, he loves being dramatic. 
He's the like biggest dramatic boy ever. Huh. I'm sulking because I tried to give him a bath because I saw his back. Wow, Gibbs. His back was dusty. Yeah, you're a dusty boy. You've got to let me get your back. You do your front, I'll do your back. Sorry, guys, I'm just turning this, and this is going to be annoying for one second. And I hope I'm turning it the right way. Yeah, I am. Um, Heidi, G Gizzy can't say I love you on command, but he may say I love you at some point. I'm going to... Really, Gibbs? Yeah, let's go. While well, he's going into his, like, half-eye oh, open. Right, well, let's just... Just be patient. Yeah, be patient. If um, he doesn't talk, then I'll come annoy you. Yeah, we'll come be annoying.
on nothing. <clears throat> Hi. You up? <laughs> Maybe we should just come back in a bit. I know, then we just come back up. Oh, I know. Yeah, that made you move, didn't it? You heard the crunch. You heard the crunch. Mister. Oh gosh, he's got you zoomed in. He, hi Lisa. He um, Gizmo likes his old man naps. He does. You want some? I know you want some. You're going to poop now, aren't you? Everybody look away. Beautiful. Right, you ready? He's so food motivated. Yeah. Okay. Is that pee still up there? This might wake him up a bit. Maybe a bit more. His potty train, he, he kind of... Kind of. He goes in one spot. We have, um, we have like these biodegradable puppy pads. And um, yeah, he, he goes on them. Which is good. Oh, my back hurts. Um, oh, your cats love to watch him. My friend has an African grey. Can he fly? No. And she also has a cat. And it's funny because the African goat goes to the cat. Meow. <laughs> yes, we can see your cleavage right now. No, he can't fly because he was caged for 16 years and he never learned the ability to fly. Yes, Cosmo. <laughs> um, your cockatiel shreds. Jella of puppy pads. Yes, well, we don't have those ones. Um, but I can imagine they would. We don't have any that have got that. We're actually in the process of designing some thinner ones. Because we don't need them to be, like with birds, we don't need them to be as waterproof as a puppy needs them. So we're, we're trying to design a thin, real good biodegradable, like, one that could almost be compostable. So we're trying to figure that out. <laughs> oh, how? <laughs> I was like, oh, are they like nappies or diapers, as you would say, this neck of the woods? I was like, oh, gel. They must be very absorbent. Oh my gosh, I'm a mother of four, and I remember that gel in, in the, we call them nappies, but you call them diapers over here. And um, if those children pee too much and they sit down a little too hard, it just goes poof, and you've got all these crystals everywhere. It's not good, it's not fun. How's the smoke? It's a lot better today. Loads better. Still got a tight chest. We got headaches. Um, feel like really run down but apart from that we're we're all good we actually took the seal off um the doors today so we can use our front door um oh do you know what i have another video um so i sung who let the birds out just to see what he did and he says embarrassing that he had to add another word to it just to, you know, emphasize how embarrassing I apparently am. So he is sassy. He's very sassy. Um, what happens if it stops spinning? 
It all makes sense. Right? Exactly. Like, I, why do we have to spin? I wish we could all just live under the same time zone. Because it's so, like, I have, my family are like seven hours in front of me. And um, it's just annoying. I hate all this back and forth with the times as well. That needs to stop. Um, you bed smoke from Canada fires all the way down in Wyoming. Wow, I got a cousin who lives in Wyoming. I don't know whereabouts. What was that yellow? Did I miss something? It's... No, it is a yellow. It says possibly um, offensive, but I don't think it was. How do I stop it? What? Hang on. View. How do I view this? Sorry, hang on one second, because I don't want to... Don't worry about it. Well, it looked... It was... Oh, it looked... Okay, sorry. I can't see that. The what? Yeah, no, it's not. Hi, Lorna. It's nearly 3 a.m. Damn. Go to bed. <laughs> right, let me catch up. Um, right, can he swear? Yes, he can. He's actually been a bit cheekier lately than... Uh, but he he swears appropriately, if that's a thing. It it is is very rare, but when he says it, he means it. Um, don't worry, Michael. Is there any words like chocolate? I'm here. Where are you going? I'm coming. I'm being told he's telling me to come. Here I am. Right, sorry. I'm back. Whoa. Big tickle. Big tickle. He's trying to say bloobs tickle tickle. Um... Yes, he said that. He said the F-bomb a few times. The S-H-I-T he says a few times. But I'm not even going to... Like, he may get that from me because I always think the S-word isn't as bad as the F-word. When really, it's all the same. Oh, thank you, Lorna. Um, he picked up a snap pea, which is a big green bean, and didn't know. Oh, did he throw it? Where'd you throw it? Where'd you throw it? Yes. Naughty. He does like snap peas. But he does like to work me. He's a, he, he manipulates me. Ooh. Ooh, what is it? Oh, down the back of the cage. Thank you, Crystal. Thank you. Oh, now he's coming to try and get me. Let me, um... No, you come on. You're talking to your friends. Hang on, if I go... Let me give him a tiny snack and walk away. Yeah, come on. Wow. Wow, Giz. You know. You even know what tiny snack means. Hi, Bloop. Um, he's so smart. And the thing is with Gizmo, I can't even explain the things he says because people's like, where did he hear that? Like where he called, um, did he say Burger Boy? Burger Boy. Oh, Burger Bird. 
no idea where he would even associate burger bird with. Like, I don't know. I Gizmo is so intelligent. He just makes, he makes his own sentences, his own words up. Like he's, um, was it Br Biano? Br Br Burano? Yeah, like bird piano. Uh, and the violin thing. The violin thing, I have no idea. Still today, one of my favourite videos, him trying to do the violin. Oh, yeah, is it, is it called Crystal? <laughs> called right, Richard? What? That's Crystal. It's called Ogier because they're going into winter. Oh, where's Crystal from? Australia. Is it cold, Crystal? Did you ever research? No, I haven't. I must. I must. But the thing is with Gizmo, I don't want him to become, you know, I, I, I'd like to train him in certain ways, but I want him to be happy and not have a schedule. And You come on. Um, our training is just in relationships and, and just in um, and just having fun and, and bonding together. Right, he's coming down to get me, so I've just got to walk away. Otherwise, it'd be on me. Gizward, off the floor. <laughs> Where are you going? Ooh. Where do you want to go? Do you want to go for a walk? Okay. Do you want a statue? Hang on, let's see if it, let me move this. Says, hang on, I'm just, uh, he's, he's just gone in my head. Ooh, come on. I'm going to get the camera, hang on. Do you want a statue? Come on. All right, where are you going? You're going back up? Oh, his choice. Oh. He wants me to bring him a snack to his cake. Yeah, he's coming back here to... Do you want a stash of Look, see? Go on then, look, watch. Come on then. You want a lift? Yeah, he wants a lift. You want a lift up? You want a lift up? Okay. Oh, you little bugger. You good boy. <laughs> Right. Okay. He's coming back. Um, if he comes back down, I'll uh, I'll show you what he's like. He's just learned how to climb stairs if I'm on them. So soon he'll be tapping on my bedroom door. Um. My Aussie cat thinks he might rescue gears. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you want. I, sometimes I think, do cats really like to watch birds or do they just think, oh my gosh, that's like watching the Food Channel? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I suppose some birds and cats get on, but instinctively, you think they just want to kill them. Like, I used to have a cat when I was like a kid, and all they wanted to do was. Um, Kill birds and mice. Where are you going, Bloob? You going in? You going in? Hi. Up up. I'm gonna run the tap, see if he'll um, take a shower. Bloob loves water. And uh, every time we have the tap run in, he, he flies to it. Let me turn some lights on. Just not 
they don't always say they don't mean it. Yeah. Ben said this gives gives ever makes you think there's a horrifying monster in the house. <laughs> <laughs> I mean the mess. Yeah. No, he doesn't. He's just hiding because he, he's really, um, he's not afraid of the camera, not of the camera just, the just the tripod. He'll be back. He'll be back. Here he comes. Oh, you taking yourself in? Wow. <laughs> oh, is it? Oh. I don't like this. No. Oh, he's having a snack. Oh my gosh. Right, hang on. And Gizmo, and you wish my nephew Max a happy fifth birthday. Oh my gosh, I wish I could get him on call to do things like that. Um, but as Gizmo's mama, we both would like to wish your nephew Max a wonderful fifth birthday from all of us here at Gizmo's flock. Now he's coming to chase me. Hang on. <laughs> Yes, I thought, I thought Kyle was collapsing. I didn't see Gizmo, he completely went under our couch. You, Giz, you've had plenty. Hi. Hi. Okay, I'm not leaving until they both talk. So if we have to be here till 3 a.m., that's what we're doing. No money. What a stashio? I don't got anything on. I don't take my shoes off. I get comfy. I've got these on. Yeah. I might turn on my hair. I've got your hair on. Oh, okay. I'll turn it down. So I make it cold down. It is hot. I want Bluey to talk. He will. Bluey. Oh my gosh. Well, it, even on the AC on, it's still 24.5. Okay, I've got it down to 18.
He knows that he's on a camera for you. Yeah, just ignore him. He's coming up. Hi. There we go. Hi, Blue. I heard you. Hi. Hey. Okay. Ready? Here we go. Come on. Let's go.
ready, Mom? Squawk. Squawk off or just squawk? <laughs> Taking lots. <laughs> We do 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 Woo! Woo! Your turn! Is that good? Yeah? Oh, big tickle! Big tickle! Tickle, tickle, tickle! Do 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 Cheeky boy. I love that you called me mom now. Uh, away from the snacks. Away from the snack station. I don't. 
do, do, do. <sighs> do, 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 do. Oh, dropping a bomb. <laughs> Get the bad guy. Can we do bad bird? Bad bird. What you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? Your turn. Jeez, great. <laughs> Here we go. You're you're loving all <laughs> big tickle. Trey mom. Trey mom. You are. You're trying to me. Woo! You ready? Here we go. Uh-oh. Goodbye. Come here. Goodbye. I love you. <whistles> Woo-hoo! Come on. I'm here. You ready? Here we go. Train mom. Train mom. Where are we going? <laughs> you going to go on that one now? Guess I'll get your place down closer tomorrow. We had to move him away from the window for the fire. Come on. All right, I'm here. All right, are we ready? Pickle. <laughs> Big pickle. Oh, you go. Oh, we now. Here we go. I see your butt. <laughs> okay. This is hot. Tickle, tickle. No. Okay. Goodbye. Goodbye. <whistles> Woo. <gasps> Where are you going now? Hi. 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 Here we go. Yeah. <whistles> Woo -hoo. Are you, oh, we get me pole in there. Uh oh. Uh oh. Gibby Po. Okay. <laughs> You're going to go back down now, aren't you? Hi. Hi. <laughs> I see you there. What are you doing? We up or down? You want a statue? No, thank you. Does, does Giz want a statue? Come on. Don't come in. Here we go. Oh gosh. Do you reckon it's charged now? Okay, I'll just take it out because it keeps pulling it down. Yeah. Bye. Goodbye. They are a lot of work. <laughs> like having a toddler, absolutely. But I love it. I'm such a mumsy person.
So demanding. It is funny animals can talk. He says good night to me every night, good morning. He tells me he loves me. When I leave the house, he says goodbye. It's crazy. The connection with an animal that can talk is, you know, you love all your animals, but when they can tell you they love you and blow you kisses here. Oh, he did want one. I know what Persia's age means. He's 17. It just might be a language thing. Sorry, yeah. Is that good? Hi, Luke. Hi. I love that. Yes, let's hide some stash in us. I've hit some. Let me move that. Yeah, I've moved it. He's there. There's a red butt. Goodbye. Here we go. 
Okay, you have to go find them. Okay? Yeah, go find them. Let's go. I've hidden them. You have to find them. Sorry. Where are they? Oh gosh. Come on. Hang on. One just dropped. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> Look, you can get your place done now. Oh, I wish I could read that, Adriana. Thank you. I I know Trey Bian. Hi. Hi. <laughs> I see you. I see you. Oh, thank you, Adriano. Was it Adriana? I don't want to get the name wrong. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lorna. <laughs> I wish, I wish I could learn all these languages. I wish. Kids, what are you doing? Hi, Patricia. Okay, I'm gonna walk away because he's just comfortable with me right now. Out, Mr. Bloob. Is you hungry? <laughs> Are you? Why are you birds acting like you're starving today? <laughs> you come on. Are you hungry too? You've snacked a lot on this live, okay? Come on, Bloob. Buddy, I'm getting you out in a minute, Miss Whitebee. Okay, I think Luke's going in. He seems, yep, he's going in. All right, bird, your turn. Okay, the clown witch is coming out, yes. Clown witch. Clown witch. Yeah, my clown witch. Oh, hi. Hey, oh, she's coming baby. straight to you. <laughs> baby. Oh, gosh, sorry, guess. Clown witch. Oh, I'm gonna 
just phrase is checking is I don't want it to die. Okay. Well, that is close. my boy. Are you my boy? Sorry. Sorry, guys. Going. Oh, big wing. 
Boy, you know it's coming night time. Still early though. He's blue beaten, and you're not. <gasps> so weird. Big pickle. Big pickle. Big pickle. <laughs> yeah. <whistles> Woo! You and your trainer. Poo on him. That'd be funny, guys. Make your first flight that. <laughs> he says, sorry. Sorry. Oh, this stupid tripod. I hate that like, little bit of suspension. Yeah, he's headless. You're headless. 
headless. Are you headless? <laughs> oh. Hang on. Boop, 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 boop. Oh, kisses? Aww. Kisses for everyone. Hi. Here we go. Do you want to train me?
I'm spraying you, you're dusty down there. Right, I'm spraying you. I'm sorry, kids. Stay there. Stay there. Open your back. Open it. Release the wings. I need to spray your back. Come on, see you later. <laughs> no. We need to spray you, dusty boy. Come here. Let me get the back of you. Ready? Just the back. Good boy, good boy, good boy, good boy, good boy, good boy. Proud of you. The back. You're so dusty. Spread your wings. Turn around. Good boy. That's it, that's it, that's it. That was good, that was good, that's good. Open up. Open up. Open up. Oh my goodness, you're being a good boy. Up. Open, open. You are such a good boy. Now can you turn? Under, over. Whoa! <laughs> right, I just need the back. Oh, you look handsome. Good boy. Good boy. You're so dusty. Wait, guess my... Gizmo was caged for 16 years, didn't, didn't have showers or anything. It's not natural to him, but it's so important for them to be misted and, and have baths. Can I just get the back? Your back is so dry. Come here. Come here. And it, it looks like he doesn't like it, but he does to a certain extent. He could have moved away at any point. He's gone now. And I won't continue to do it while he's over there. But it's so important for these dusty boys and girls. Okay, I'm putting it back. Good boy. That was good. He was, he's, that was the first time he ever started lifting his wings up. Good boy, this is good. They say when they lift their wings up, that's the, when they're like, who yeah. let you help them. When we go to the sink, he's like, <laughs> that way. <right away. laughs> Oh, when he goes to the sink, he's like that right away. Oh my gosh, I know. I wish. We'll have to do like a, a live over the weekend um, in the day and let him do that. Yeah, because he's not okay. I'll post a 
Oh, I'm sorry. I, 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 I act like, I don't know. It's the mother in me. I know, because you've been an Indian ringneck. You've wanted one for so long. I and then it. you manifested a rescue. Right? That's such a sweet And then we got another rescue like a week later. I know. Bless him. Little little other bird. It is, come here. Let me get you a treat cake. Pistachio? Oh, Blue wants pistachio, guess. Hi, Blue. Hi. Hi. That flower it was what Kyle's mum did. She's amazing. She's amazing at art. She did so many good things around this house. All right, I'm gonna get you a drink. Would you be funny if that was like my mom? <laughs> <laughs> That'd be hilarious. Like, oh wow, that flower is gorgeous. She just starts a whole account to just talk about her decor that she, we've got. <laughs> Like when we go by the dining room table, she's like, oh, but did you recover those chairs? Absolutely stunning. <laughs> yeah, the table's like A, but the chairs, oh my gosh. Yeah, I knew that would move you. Look, you were sulking over there. Come on, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, do this for your own good. I have a treat for everybody. <laughs> a treat, 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 super bird, treat, treat, super bird. <sighs> and action replay. Action replay. Replay. You should do it really fast the first time and then slow mo. Okay, the next yeah. Time. That, we, we have to read. All right, that. forget like you didn't see that. Yeah, pretend it was really fast. Here we go. No, we'll do it again. And here we go. And slow mo. First, sure. Fast one. And action replay. Oh, she worked that. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Why do you always have to fly away? I want to show you off. I want to show you off, Burbs. Oh, I got something for you, though, Bird. Come here, my little girl. Come here, my little girl. Oh, Bluey. Come here, my little girl. Hi. Hi, everybody. Come here, my little girl. Come on. Up, up. Come on. Up, up. Bird. Okay, take your boot. Up, up. Yep, up, up. Oh, she's being naughty. She's there. Up, up. Bird. Are you mad that I did super bird with you? Are you? Are you mad? Come on, up, up. Okay. Let's try again. Let me walk. Come here, look at it. bird she's our super bird girl let me stand in front of the ring light this is super bird yeah that's your favorite tree isn't it 
Her favorite treat is a cashew. Give a kiss. Kiss. Mwah. Good girl. She gets always so mad when I do Superbird to her. She's like, stop, Dad. You're embarrassing me. Yeah, it depends on your bird as well. Like, some of them can get very hormonal um, when you touch their back. I can touch her back, like, in certain ways without her feeling hormonal. It just depends on what they do because she could lay in my back, like, on her back in my hand, things like that, or when I super bird her. <laughs> Come here. Come here. Well, let, let me see. I'll show you guys Blue Bee quick. Oh, Blue Bee. Peekaboo. Hi. Hi, Bloop. What are you doing? Look at your little feetsies. <gasps> Look at your yellow, yellow feetsie. He's got a yellow feet because of his, um, he's got a little calcium perch down there. <laughs> but Superbird is not nice to him when they're both out together. Huh. Hi. Bird, can you give a kiss? Bird, can you say up, up? Say up, up. Good girl. Can you give a kiss? Good girl. Oh. Oh, even Gizzy was impressed with your kisses. Can you give another kiss? Bird? What are you doing? Can you give a bird? Can you give a kiss? Can you give a kiss? Hi. Hi. Hi, baby. Say. Hi. Hi. Yes. Come here. What are you doing? Oh. What are you doing? Bird. Bird, give kiss. Give kiss. Oh, come here. No, no. Yeah, up, up. Get off there. You know better. Come on. Up, up. Up, up. Up, up. Good girl. Say hi to your brother. Hi to your brother. She knows <laughs> Hi, Gibbs. What are you doing? Can you give everybody a kiss? Aw, but Can you give kisses, Bird? Let me show her one more time because you're being cute. Come here. Hi. Come here. Hi. 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 You want me to show them how to the stairs? Come on. Bird, can you give kiss? Give kiss? Say up, up. Good girl. Can you give kiss? Yeah. Okay, give kiss. Give kiss.
You cute bird. You're cute too, Blueby. You're so freaking cute too, little Bloob. Look at you. You cute. Bird, bird loves the camera on her so much. She does. She's a little camera girl. Bird, show us your show us your modeling moves. Go on, show me your modeling moves. Show us how cute you are. Yep, show me how cute you are. Yeah. Hi. Hi. Oh. You're cute, bird. Yeah, you're cute. You know it. You know it. <laughs> oh, bird. Up, up. Up, up. Derpy. Up, up. Hi, good girl. Yeah. Yeah. You good girl. Ready? Go. Oh. Ooh. Hi. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Oh, a little scratch right there. Let's say hi. Hi. Let's say hi to Bluey again. <gasps> hi, Bluey. <laughs> Look, she gets mad when the camera's not on her. Do you see her? Hi, bird. Hi. Yes. Hi. Come on. Hi. Come on. Hi. Hi. Come on. Hi. Hi. Oh. Come on. Okay. If he comes down, I'll follow him on the floor. Can you give a kiss? Good girl. Good girl. Oh, Blueby, you're so cute. Is he down? He's coming. Okay. Come on. When gives he? Okay. He's coming to get me. He's going to, unless he's coming for my feet. <laughs> Hi. Here. What are you doing down there, Gibbs? No. 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 Not that. You know. Here. Yes. Not that. Not hmm. Yeah, we hear you, Gibbs. We hear you. Hi. Where's Mama? Can you go get Mommy? Go get Mommy. Go get her. Come on. I know I'm being bravely, so I'm wearing shoes. Come on. He already bit my toe today. Oh! Gibbs, that was a little too close for me. Hi, where are you going? Can you go to the mama and see if you can climb the stairs? So we can show everybody how you climb the stairs? Yeah, okay, go on. Go on. And you just wanna knock the bucket. Gibbs, you look like E.T. with that neck like that. <laughs> Come on. Ah. <laughs> Come on, get him, Gibbs. Get him. No. Get him. Yeah. Hi. Come on. Hi, baby. Hi. 
Go on, go see Mama. Go on. Show them. Show your friends how you can climb the stairs. Should we show them? You gotta work off all those snacks. Come on, big guy. Where is she? Bird. Oh. Get down. Get down. No. See, she's this is she's being bad lately. Um, oh shoot! I looked down for a second, and you were almost at my feet. <laughs> Do not charge my feet. I Kids. Bad. Hold on. Yeah, she's trying to chew. She just wants the camera on her. Seriously. Don't be looking at me like that, sir. <laughs> yes. Come on. Come here. Come here. Come here. Well, I'm going then. I'm going. Goodbye. Ooh, Giz, I found something. Guys, I found something. Why you just want to knock the bucket, hey? <laughs> I found something. Sound. Here. I'll Ooh. Move the yeah. Mama's gonna move the bucket. How come you're not going for mom's toes? They're right there. You don't go for her, her for hers, but if I put my toe there, okay. if you if I put my toe there, you'll come for mine. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> that was close. That was way too close. Come here, guys. Come here. Let's play with the ball. Okay, I'm gonna move the charger now since we don't need that. Oh, thank you so much, Kimmery. We appreciate that very, very much. Thank you so much. He's, he's got, um, he wants to come over here. Can you go see mama? But Can you go see mommy? He's trying to keep you away. How about, how about let's walk over there? Let me walk Why over there. Come, come on, let's go over there together. Let's bring your ring and your ball just in case, okay? In case you want to play. Come on. Come on. Come on. Giz, come on. Maybe you hold it. Oh, so. don't show my old socks. Come on. The foot boy. Birds the don't dominator. walk. Birds don't walk. 
Look, you got your ball in your thing. Ooh. Hi. Yeah. Gizzy likes to play catch. Uh oh. <laughs> Beans like two on one. You can come up. Good boy. Show him how you do it, Gibbs. Show him how you do it. You get no, him? we don't do that. Giz. That's a good, good boy. boy. Bean. <laughs> it's not your ball. Show him. Can you get keep going up to mama? Good, good boy. boy. Can you go again? This is the first time he's climbed the stairs today and we wanted to show it. Giz? Giz, don't eat the stairs. No. Giz. Gizzard. <laughs> no stair biting. You can climb them though. Go on. Come on. Climb it. <laughs> Bean tried to steal your ball and she got scared of your ball. She's such a baby. Oh. oh. She's like, these are my stairs? <laughs> Should I own these stairs? Oh, careful, 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 careful. <laughs> 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 She's gone. <laughs> she said, I own them now. Oh, like, oh, I own them now. I'll protect you, Mom. I'll protect you. <laughs> Bean, you be gone. Bird's too brave sometimes. She, she thinks she's an alpha. Yeah, but Bean and Bird are actually both protective. They both do neighborhood watches. They do. Oh, it's so cute. When um, Bean and Bird, they watch people walk by our window, and then they, like, literally bark and squawk and at them together. They'll be, like, looking out the window together and just, like, yelling at people walking by. <laughs> it's the best. Show them the little perch. Yeah. Bean and Bird will sit right here on this thing together where that little squirrel is. And they'll just sit there and they'll literally like squawk and bark at the people walking by. It's so cute. Bird, you okay? You okay? <laughs> you going back up? Go on, Gibbs. Giz. Giz. No. No, no, no. Be naughty. Gibbs. No. Yeah, he's just being naughty now. He's just being naughty now. You're just being naughty now. Okay. There you go. Sitting with the mama. The escalator for this. <laughs> Kids, look at those wings. What, what are they doing? They're, they're touching Mama's hand. 
the way his wings droop, you can see him drooping down slowly because he loves his mama. He is 17, 17 years young. He looks like he's really biting me, but he's not. Giddy. The thing is, he, he doesn't know, he still doesn't know that it doesn't. He, he's gripping me tight, but he doesn't know how to react sometimes. And he wants to be a big lover, but he doesn't know how. He never had this. Mm -hmm. So he's still learning. Oh, Giz, you're so cute. But sometimes I take, like, like, like he marked me slightly there. Mm -hmm. It didn't hurt me. It gripped me, but it didn't hurt me. But he just doesn't know how, like, and I'll stroke him, and he loves it. But then he flinches, and he, he can't relax. Mm -hmm. He can't see. He can't just enjoy the moment. Um, Minnesota, what is your... African Grey or Bird's name. Lisa said you're 11 weeks older than me, lol. Tell the old lady to shush. <laughs> Don't know if you heard that, Lisa. Like, but... oh, she probably didn't hear it. She's probably like, partially deaf because she's so old. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one. Up. That was a good one. Can she even see the chat or does she need it in like... Big text. <laughs> Giz, why'd you turn and look at me like that? Respect your elders. <laughs> Can I sit here too, Giz? Wow. Oh, He's sorry. Okay. You. Okay. It's like, do not interrupt. I'm sorry. I'm having some, like, mom love time. I'm sorry. You don't have to look at me like that. <laughs> you don't have to. I love you, too. Oh, well, hello, Goddess Blue Bless. Thanks for joining our stream. Welcome. Sorry, we're in, like... Oh, pajamas wow. right now. You don't really look like it. Yeah. That you're in, you're... Oh, that's what I'm wearing the bed. Oh, my not God, quite, that's... He didn't bite me. Scared it, me. Yeah, because he's... He gets like that with me, but he's... Look. You know, but it's scary. <laughs> I guess it's like the same thing. Bird does it to me, too. And I could... But why are you looking at me like that? You look he like... He actually wants to kill you right now. He does. He wants to fly down, swoop, and get me. Look at that. That's terrifying. Imagine seeing that in your dreams. Scary, Gibbs. And then if he did his evil laugh right now... Oh, baby, don't look at me like that. I love you. Gibbs. Okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> He's like in straight up like protective mode. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for real, mean mug. There is a dinosaur inside that bird. Look at him. Careful. Beep. <laughs> He's not impressed. His eyes are not pinned though. So no. Right. It's because me. And he knows that we wind each other up. We have a. Me and Giz have actually been. Like, building our relationship. I feel like we're, like, we both wind each other up. Mm. You know? You're like brothers. Yeah. Like, we kind of, he's been respecting me a lot late, more lately, not trying to go for me or anything. He'll bite my toe, like he did today. <laughs> but for, he didn't draw blood today. No, he didn't draw blood today. And Just, he could have. Definitely. He snuck up on you and he could have. He snuck up. I thought you were having like a stroke or something. I'm not even being horrible. You kind of like, <laughs> like went like that. I'm like, what the hell? Because I couldn't see him, couldn't hear him. And I was worried. For a second, I thought we were in a medical emergency. No, it was just the kid biting my baby toe. 
baby toes. Lisa had no idea he was in there. He snuck underneath the couch and got my foot. And he's on the rug, so you can't even hear his little tip tapping. So, like, what he'll do is he'll go underneath the entire couch and sneak right underneath here. And you can't you hear know, him. Like, we have a dog gate. Yeah, we keep a gate here. We protect sometimes because, like, if we're not supervising him, I don't want him in the kitchen or in anywhere else where he will be unsafe. Yep. So we keep him in there where there's, there's like, hoovers and stuff right now, but we're with him. So we keep a safe space, but he can get under the couch. Giz, what's your favorite word? I wish you just said squawk off. <laughs> He told Bloob to squawk off, though, earlier. Mm -hmm. Giz, what's your favorite word to say? Can you tell the, can you tell them? When he goes see Bud, and see if they be okay. Well, not be okay, he's fine. So he's just being in protective mode right now. I just want to see what he does when you walk away. Okay, wait until Bird's not so evil, and you can come out. <laughs> Yeah, I'm talking about you. Yeah, see, straight over for love. Talking about you, missing. Yeah. Yeah, bird. Hi. Say hi. Bird is a camera diva. She loves being on camera, doesn't she? Yeah, the second he walked away. Hi. Okay, Kate, good luck putting your birdies to bed. <laughs> You're so cute. You're so cute. You're so cute, Blueby. You're cute, Blueby. So cute. Hi. Can you say, can you say, up, up? Bird say, up, up. Can you say up, up? Bird. Come here. Yeah, good girl. Good girl. Good girl. You got a scratch on your, you got an itchy foot? You got an itchy foot? Oh yeah, he can be very noisy. But he has this moment to being quiet. He's actually pretty good about being quiet nowadays. Yeah, just not 6 a.m. Is he still super loud? Yes. Yes. Hi. 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 Tika tika, tika tika, tika tika, tika tika. I got you, I got you. Hi. Can I tickle you? Can I tickle you? Hi. Honestly, Gizmo I think likes Blue way more than Bird. So cute. Uh -huh. Come on.
Buffy, Blue and Birds just means she's so rude. No, off his cage. You can say hi to your brother, Gibbs. Say hi to your brother, Gibbs. Yeah, see, she's like, heck no. Heck no. Oh. Sorry. Okay, let me put this um, tripod back up. So much cuteness. It's like a cuteness overload here all the time with all these birds, literally. And when Bloob talks, I, I literally can't. It, it kills me. It's like, just melts my little heart. And I love it so much. And what's, what's funny is the shirt I'm wearing, I'll show you guys, like, I was wearing the shirt today. I lo I've had the shirt for a long time. And then I realized that there's a little, there's Indian ringnecks on it, which is so cool. I was like, oh, boobs. Um, hold on, I'll, I'll take you over there actually quick, hold on. It's gonna be a little bit darker over here. Let me turn on a light. So this is our, uh, this is the bird and it's gonna be dark. This is the bird we just rescued, literally from being abandoned outside. Somebody just released him into the, uh, the outside. And poor guy has clipped wings. He wouldn't have made it very long. So somebody spotted him in a tree and we went over there to, ex to investigate, to see if we can find him. And luckily we were able to find him and catch him and um, bring him into safety. And he was so hungry, like starving. Like he went right into the cage and was eating like, it's, without even closing the thing, like he was just starving. Hi. Hi, good, hi little guy. Hi, little guy. He's a little green cheek Connor, and he's really cute. He's tiny. The camera doesn't do it justice on how tiny he really is. He's like half a bird size. He's, he's a really small green cheek. They are super tiny. He's like really tiny. <laughs> when I picked him up, because like... I picked him up to put him in the carrying case when we got him, and it was like nothing. Like, it was like holding nothing. He's so little, but he's he's really sweet. He's not tame. Um, but we're waiting a few more days with this little guy, so we're giving it a few more days to see if we can find the owner because we believe he was abandoned as it's been over a week and nobody's come forward for him, and we've... Shared it everywhere, like everywhere. So, if not, we have a we're we're not gonna we're not gonna keep him. Um, we found two homes, potential homes for him. One of them was a family who had their green cheek for over twenty years, and it just passed away, um, and they're devastated. And so they're looking to maybe rescue him, which that would be it would make me feel good too because they you know they kept they had their green cheek for so long and. They understand the importance of, of loving these guys no matter what. Yeah, I, I know, I know, Kate. We think he's really young. We think that maybe um, this is his first, like, first set of wings um, since being clipped. Like, so maybe they rest, like, maybe they got him from a pet store not long ago. And then maybe he was nippy, you know? And then they were like, screw this guy and ditched him. So... Super sad. He's not tame at all, though. This is actually the closest he's ever interacted. I think he likes the phone, too. Maybe these Conyers are big phone lovers. They're just, like, want to show off. I know. I don't understand. We're going to put a post up that anyone in the Calgary area that ever wants to just dump their pet, like their pet bird, we would be glad to take them in. No questions asked. Like, you don't even have to say anything. You just say, I want to surrender this. We would be glad to take them so they're not out there in the wild. Because some people think, oh, it's a bird. They have wings. They can figure it out. No, they can't. Yes, they're wild animals, but because they've been, you know, captive 
maybe since babies, they just don't, they don't know how to hunt or feed themselves and they're not in their proper environment to do so either. So it's like, we, we're just going to, yeah, I know that is true, Kate. We luckily have a pretty big space um, and home, but yeah, we want to, it is true. We do have to be careful of that stuff. That's why we're not even going to bring this birdie over to our other birdies um, at all. Sorry. No, I know. You're a cutie, though, aren't you? Hi. You're so cute. Why would somebody abandon you? Look how cute you are. You are cute. Look at you. <laughs> You're adorable. You're adorable. You're adorable. No, none of them care about this one at all. Like, not meaning, and, and, and not saying that's a bad thing. They just don't have any interest in this guy. This guy is so chill, too. He's very quiet, like we can cover his cage, no issues. He eats great. He takes, he's already taken little baths in his water dish. Um, he's super quiet. Uh, yeah, I agree, Kate. We just think, we think that he's a baby as well. Hi. <laughs> Hi. You're cute. You're adorable. Aw. You're so cute. Okay. Go see the others. Babe, he was being so interactive. Aww. He loves the camera. I like Bert. <laughs> he literally did. As soon as I brought the camera, he went right over to it. It was like being all cute. So we got gays. I can't... There's no way I can say my favorite. Because I love them in so many different ways. This is my favorite. <laughs> of course he is. You're my baby boy. I love them all, though. I love Luke and I love Bird. Bird's a bee. She's a B word. Bird. Get off his cage. Bird, Go. you're being a B word. Go. Bird, come on. That's Bird. She's the absolute, oh. like, bully. She's a straight up bully. She thinks she's a queen. And then Bloob is just the absolute cutest little sweetheart. He's such a lover. Well, he actually likes to bite our legs, doesn't he? Sometimes. <laughs> he doesn't bite and he pinches us. He likes to pinch us. No, we don't hoard birds. We only have three birds. I showed four because that other one we have, um, the other one I have is, is foster basically, yeah, fostering him until we either find his original home or we're going to get him a new home. Birdlet, what are you doing? Get off. Uh, I'll put you away. Ready? Goodbye. <laughs> you are the weakest link. You are the weakest link. Goodbye. You're being naughty. You're being naughty. It's bedtime anyway. Yes. It is bedtime anyway. <laughs> yeah, this is, that's her nice, that's her, look at that cage, it's gorgeous. So this is going to be one of the cages that we offer um, on Squawk Shop. It's, um, it's huge, like, Bird's got herself a little mansion, don't ya? <laughs> you got a mansion now? Yeah. And um, this cage is actually going to be the same as Gizzy's, but Gizzy's is going to be even bigger, which I just have to build it. They're super easy to build, by the way. Wouldn't you say, babe? Mm -hmm. So, yeah, let's see. Bird is super sassy. She's like the sassiest thing. Um, we're going to be on our website. It's going to be actually like, it's going to be a legit website where you're going to be able to, um, 
take multiple forms of payment. So we're going to have all that set up. The, it's not a little, then it's going to be legit. Yeah. So we're going to be actually selling. We have, we're going to have an online retail store for parrot supplies. And um, we're going to have a lot of, lot of options and, and stuff like that. But these cages are one of the highest quality cages you can get on the market. And they're not just going to be, when you purchase a cage, they won't just be the cage. We have three what birds. What we're going to be doing is supplying the perches, toys. We're going to have a whole package included in it. Yep. We're going to include all, like, we're going to include a whole package. Um, so the cage, typically, like, let's say, let's say the cage is 500 instead of it just being 500 with just the cage, we're gonna include like multiple different perches, toys, uh, mineral blocks, everything's gonna be included within that same price. So you get like a ton of stuff and we're not gonna go like skimpy on it. Now these cages are more expensive than the Amazon ones. Yep. But they are so much better quality. These are good quality. They should last like roughly like we um, don't even we've had this cage for a year and you it, there's no difference in one year, and we don't know how long he had it in his first sixteen years. Yeah, <clears throat> and we're using the same manufacturer. These cages are built to last anywhere from five to seven years, depending on how, um, like rough or or anything like that. And we're gonna offer warranties on our cages as well, so which is gonna be awesome. So stay tuned for all that stuff. And we're, we're, we're also going to be doing a, um, like a drop box service. So you can um, have a mystery box sent out to you with different toys, depending on the species of bird you have. So that way there's appropriate sizing and everything. And it's going to be like Gizmo's favorite pick in there. And Gizzy will be showing off some of the new toys that he uh, can offer. Huh, Gibbs? Huh? Lisa mentioned screws. <laughs> 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 Do you I have? You can't say anything about screws. Yeah. Whether it's a big screw, little screw, <laughs> a tight screw. You can't say anything about screws. That's not funny. What about unscrew? <laughs> you can't. <laughs> I can't not laugh at a screw joke. <laughs> or a nut joke. <laughs> no, I can't. What about screws and nuts? Because sometimes. <laughs> Sometimes a screw takes a nut, like. <laughs> Most of the time, yeah. Sorry. Uh, I can't help it. I don't know. Maybe I just didn't grow out of that face. I still find farts funny, okay? <laughs> oh, sorry. Uh, Candy, we'll definitely keep, stay up to, uh, oh my gosh. Keep following our page and stuff because we'll be putting out announcements when we're getting closer. We're going to be doing like a test trial run, I believe, next month. Um, on like. Can you still got the email link thing? Yeah. You do a separate thing for people that are interested. I am going to put together a survey of like, what's your species of bird? Are you in, like, what kind of toys do they like? Yes. And then I'm going to, I'll probably make a, a paid survey too. Like. They do. They just like different things. So yeah. Like Gizmo, there's so many things he likes compared to bird and balloons. Yep. And we're gonna be like interactive. So I mean, there's obviously some other parrot shops that are awesome and they do a lot of interaction and make videos. But we want to be very interactive with our audience so that way if people have questions, like we're here, you can talk to real people. Huh, Giz? And we'll show some stuff. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's awesome. Well, yeah, stay tuned. We'll have some stuff soon. I'm actually going to put together a survey, and I'll probably put together, like, if you fill it out, we'll go into a drawing um, for some money. And, yeah, just try to get some insights of if people are interested mm -hmm. and to be part of our newsletter because we're going to be doing some cool stuff. Huh, guys? We're going to be doing some really cool things. Yeah, because we wanna, we don't wanna be. There's so many people that sell bird products. If you're in the bird community, you might just enjoy birds. But if you have a bird, there's so many people and companies that sell bird stuff. But we wanna go above and beyond, and we wanna give back. And there's so many ideas that we have. That is so fun 
and we're gonna get you so involved in it. We can't wait. I just don't wanna, I, don't, I can't say right now, but it's so exciting what we wanna do. Okay. What? Sorry, she just said she had to take Tika's little hut out of her cage because of hormones, and she just sat on the side of her cage staring at me. Oh. Bird hates it, like, is she in there? Oh yeah, let me show quick. So we, if we took that away from her, she couldn't sleep. Hey, you can see Bird's tail just hanging out. It's bent. <laughs> she has a bent tail. Don't tell her. But I am keeping an eye on her because if I show if she shows signs of um of like oh, nesting and and that blanket thing is in there because just it it keeps her from chewing and stuff, so but I know. And we cover her and she doesn't come out until about 10.30 um, a.m. So that way, and she's completely like covered in in the dark. She's never shown signs of like nesting. No. Um, but we, we tried to take it out because she did used to chew it. Um, we've been through multiple ones and we keep an eye on it. But she wouldn't sleep. And that's that the pet store, she's our first mistake. The pet store we brought her from, it was already in there and she was already used to it. Yep, they started it on her. Um, Gizmo doesn't have one, Blue doesn't have one. And these pet stores really annoy us because most of them do not start these birds on pellets. So they no. come without pellet train, they come just fully seen. On seed. the wrong food. Yeah, they come like, on the wrong she's, food. She was on cockatiel food, she so was, it was just complete seeds. She was on like the cheap, car, like basically cheap cockatiel food. Yeah. That's like. She was on the McDonald's. She was, yeah. Of bird food. They just put her on McDonald's. You said Mac. I'm proud of you. What time is it? What's the time, Mr. Wolf? It's bedtime, I think. Yeah. It's... It is 9.39. Someone asked what time Gizmo's bedtime is. It's normally nine o'clock because he doesn't, he doesn't like wake up until 9 a.m. Mm -hmm. On weekends, sometimes it's later because we try and like just leave the birds to sleep. Yes, and that when Gizmo's tired, he starts saying goodnight, everybody. And Bird, always and Bird laughs. laughs. She laughs herself to sleep. <laughs> she's lazy in bed and laughs. Like, <laughs> maybe she laughs about what she did today, her favorite memories of the day. Uh, yeah, how many, how many times she tormented Blue? Yeah. <laughs> He's covering her up right now. Hi. You can see our wiener just there. We can't cover Bloob up at the minute. We're covering half of his cage. We've got to half. Gizmo will not have his cage covered, but what we do is we block out every bit of light. So our TV is there and Gizmo vision, this is Gizmo's vision right now, is here. So it blocks out all the light. Doesn't it, dude? And we cover the back of Gizmo. We, yeah. <laughs> Gage. <laughs> we <laughs> we blocked the back of the gauge. Um, yes, we we're we're getting better. We and he's getting better, but we just blocked the back of his cage right now because he wasn't covered either, and he's still scared. And males aren't as necessary to cover. No, but we just like to block the light out from the TV because Kyle likes to play his baby games. So we just cover half of it for now. But Bird is completely covered. Gizmo doesn't like it, but 
like this whole this whole thing blocks all of them, like all the light. I was just stuck in there. <laughs> <laughs> oh shoot! Oh, what happened? The hoof. Oh, we're gonna need to go get some more food. Actually. There's, yeah, we yeah we we'll do that tomorrow. Yeah. Okay, right, let's say goodbye. Okay. Because we're going to feed and go. Giz, do you want some food? Yes, I got to get some chocolate. Yeah, she's a lady. She she does. She, she needs... Do you say privacy or privacy? Yeah. Do you say... No, for what? It's just... It's a question. Privacy or privacy? Privacy. I forgot what I say. Um, you say... Oh, privacy. Do I say privacy? Yeah. I think I say both. I, some, do you ever forget how you talk sometimes? Especially when you're living with, like, someone that speaks the opposite to you and spells the opposite to you. Yeah, because you get... Do not. Because you get, like, when I say progress, you're like, <laughs> Ew, it's, it's progress. progress. Privacy is more push. Oh. oh, I'm so posh. Okay, all right. I maybe I say privacy. I can't. I, I. It's been five years. I forgot how I speak. <laughs> um, there's so many things we say differently. So many things. We never did the scratch board. Never. Okay, so you see this. We were supposed to, it's a scratchy thing. We were supposed to scratch off states of America and eat our way around and do videos on what we eat. Like we were going to home cook, but we, how long have we had that? Like at least a year and a half. Probably longer. <laughs> like three. I don't know, maybe one day we'll scratch it because I think it would look pretty scratched off. Maybe oh when Gibbs when when Gibbs shows us his billion dollars. Oh yeah, because and we have a private plane, we could just take him to each state and do a meet and greet and then we'll scratch it off then. Yes. <laughs> Let's do that. Gibbs, show us where the millions is at. The billions. billions. Sorry, because you said you're a billionaire. Gizmo said. told us he's a billionaire. He's not told us where his billions are. Like, I'm not interested in his billions. But he said that. He said, birds don't walk unless they're billionaires. And Giz can't fly and he walks. Yeah. So he's trying to tell us he's a billionaire and he has a stash of money somewhere. <laughs> Oh, I'm going to get the sneezes. My eyes are watering. Why? I don't know. It just comes. Blooby, you're so cute. <laughs> you're too cute, Bloobs. Like, how does an African grey say is a P.O. box in China? <laughs> <laughs> like, how? Like, people say, where's he learn this stuff? I don't know. I've never said I have a P.O. box in China. <laughs> but Gizmo did. Um, oh. Between. We love, a we love Apollo. They're just very, like, people, this is where people, like, people, they, um, they compare. And Apollo is very, and they're, they're, they're following the Alex, like, yeah. research. Yeah. And training, yeah. And training. And I think that's absolutely wonderful. But Gizmo has a very different story. They hatched him. We rescue Gizmo. So they hatched him from a from an egg, basically. Um, and we rescue Gizmo at 16-year-old, broken. And we train in different ways. Um, but they're both wonderful birds. And I agree. And, you know, people say, what tricks does he know? And I say, 
we don't do tricks. We just work on relationship, bonding, and, you know, conversation. That, that, that's our thing. And, you know, <laughs> why are you laughing at me? Apollo's thing is amazing. I love what he does. We love what he does. But Gizmo, I don't want to train him. You know, Alex, who is a very, 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 very famous, if you look at Alex the Grey, but he's probably the most famous African Grey in the world died at 30 years old. They're supposed to live up to 80. And I, I don't want to stress him out with training. He trains me. Yeah. If anyone's going to die early, it's me. Because <laughs> I can't whistle. He just, <laughs> he's strict training. He's so strict. You heard him. He's like, come here. Come I, here. I don't know how many times he said, train mom tonight. And yeah. And you're like, can I have a second? He's like, here we go. You're like, geez. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, I, I, I truly believe what Apollo and his parents are doing are amazing. And I think it's great. I just want to work on having the best possible relationship with my baby bird as I can. That, that's all I want to do. Yes, Giz, you nodded then. That's all we're about. And I'm not saying what he's doing isn't right. But it's n we're different birds. That they they do something completely different, and I respect and I love what they do. But Gizmo is a different bird. He didn't. He he wasn't hatched. He, he I can't pick him up like they can pick up Apollo and Apollo can fly and do all these things. Gizmo can't. So we're just working different things. No, I don't spend any time teaching him words. All we do is we just talk back and forth. That's all we do. Yeah, we, just treat him like we just treat him like he's part of the family. And, and that's how I think it should be. It shouldn't be, okay, I'm going to teach you the word hello. And you keep saying hello. That will be annoying. If I see him... I will say hello, and he knows that, and it will become a thing, and he's like, oh, there she is, hello. Um, sorry, I've not even been reading. So I'm in on a run, I'm sorry. I get passionate about these things. Um, we don't watch TV, Jurassic Gamer. I, we actually don't watch TV. Maybe every other weekend we'll watch a show when the kids spend a weekend away. But it is so rare. And the nights that I go to bed, because I get up really early to take the kids to school, Kyle was playing games or watching TV, but he has headphones on so he doesn't disturb the birds. Gizmo doesn't hear stuff, so it's either stuff is hid in the past or Gizmo just knows these stuff. Gizmo... Like, I can't explain how amazing he is. He knows stuff. And he says new stuff every single day that I can't explain. And I haven't taught him. You're amazing, baby. He does tell me stories. Are they stories or are they things he knows? I don't know. Yes, exactly, Cheryl. He, we let him do his thing. We let him do his thing. And, and, you know, I think, you know, training animals is amazing. I'd love to have better behaved birds. But um, I'm not a bird trainer. I'm not. I don't know how to train birds. People think we're like, people think we are professionals in this, you know, in the bird world. And we're not. We're, we learn every day. We Google things. We research. Thank you.
Thank you, Jurassic. He is amazing. And, and this is what I love about each individual bird. No bird is the same. Now, if you look at Apollo, he, he was born to be trained. And he does it so well. You know, he knows his colours. He knows, he knows his different... He knows metal. He knows, you know, cork. He knows all that kind of stuff. Now look at Cosmo. Cosmo has a completely different story. She is like Gizmo in female form. Where she had a traumatic past. She lost her first mum. Found her forever mum. And has learned to adapt. And she is... She's just like Gizmo where she feels emotions. She feels, she feels her people. And Gizmo's exactly the same. And then you have, you know, birds like Cuba, who's so content and he just wants to be a Disney bird and he does his whistling and he does his, he, he, he can he has the ability to speak, but he chooses not to. He can speak. He showed us he can all speak, but he chooses not to. And that's just Cuba. And you just have to respect these animals and what they do. And love them regardless. And, you know, when... He's just going to take a poo right now. Hang on. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. You know, when they don't speak, don't be like... Why are they not speaking? Because they're not... They don't want to speak. They don't... They don't just like us. Sometimes I, I don't want to go live, so we don't go live. Sorry. The, the <laughs> it was on a poo pad. Apollo even knows how to say Shrek. He's, yeah, he's clever. I don't have a bird anymore. Oh, I wish you could kiss Gizmo on his beak, but he would probably give you a, a very nice lip piercing. He's, <laughs> he's not tame. Um, he's very tame with me. And that's another thing that people don't understand is that these birds are one people. They like their one person. They will tolerate other people. Now he's coming to get me. They will tolerate other people, but they love their one person. And this is like any, this is what I try and tell people. If you buy a bird for someone, they're not necessarily going to go and bond with that person that you brought it with, you brought it for just because you brought it them. They might like the neighbor next door. So he's coming to get me. So should we say good night? I'm going to come to bed because he's going to, he wants cuddles. They're not domesticated at all. They are wild animals. And the, the thing is, I, I totally agree with you. The thing is... I don't like... I don't want the camera on me. Because I'm not a camera person. All right, let me just try and put it on just gears. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I see you. Ooh, I'm squashing your head. I'm squashing your head. Okay. Um, they're not domesticated at all. Um, but let me tell you this. They love to love. Look at them. When they find love, they love it. <laughs> um, and it is so hard. I would love Gizmo to be in his natural environment, living his best life. But that is not where he was put. He was brought up in a world where he was hatched to be bred, to be caged. And he was caged with zero toys, no stimulation for 16 years. But he came to me and now, you know, he's living, his, he's living his best possible life that he can possibly live 
in captivity. I don't want him to be like this. I wish I could just say, I'm taking you to your natural... But he will die. And, and people that don't understand what we're trying to do don't get that and they give you they give us all hate but he 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 doesn't understand he he couldn't survive he can't fly and he like when we my routine is when i wake up i don't let him out of his cage jacob go to bed what's what's the time it's so late Hi, Jacob. So, in the morning, our routine is I get up at 6.40. I get the kids up at 7. And I leave Gizmo and the birds to sleep until I get home from the school run. And I let them out at 9 a.m. And, you know, he... I can't even bear to think if I was to just, like people say, just he needs to be with other birds. He has other birds. He's not interested in other birds. He loves me. But I, if I got him a female, I'm not a breeder. I don't, I don't, oh, thank you, Knight. Welcome to our... Welcome to Gizmo's fan vlog. <laughs> we had a little song. <laughs> we, we forgot our song. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for being Gizmo's fan vlog. We, um, yeah. So Gizmo can't fly. He can't hunt. So he can't be free. And that's the situation we're in. So we just have to give him the best possible life. That is a short story. So, that's... But we get a lot of hate. I get, I get hate every day. But I know I'm doing the best possible thing I can. Hey. Thank you, Denise. Thank you. Let me. Let, sorry, I haven't even been reading the comments because I got, when I got on a rant, I didn't even read. I just talk. Well, uh, the thing is, he. I don't know when he's most talkative. Gizmo is his own. I was going to say person, person bird, person. I call him a person. He's his own person and he does what he wants. Don't you, baby? You do what you want. Um, and thank you again, Denise. Um, he is living his best life, Lisa. Thank you. And, oh my gosh. If he wasn't happy, I would find a home that he would be happy with. Or, But look at him. He's got his love wings out. He's totally... He's in, not in love. I wouldn't say he's in love with me. He's in love with love. What? Love with you. No, he's in love with love. Yeah, from you. He just didn't know love. You want me to come over here and try to love him? He'll bite you. I, I can hold his head. I, I just he love him. I know, but I, I, I still respect his boundaries. And I've never, I've always said, Gizmo does every fast move i do not push him he does what he needs to do and like he didn't have any human touch for 16 years so now he still feels good night crystal hang on is it night in australia no. it's not is crystal she said good night. She said, we need you to sleep now. Oh, sorry. Well, she goes about her day. <laughs> Why you do your day? Yeah, I know. I'm putting, I'm putting, I'm putting, the other birds are in bed. 
Wow, Crystal. What are you having for lunch? I know, I just want to hug him, like, you know, you know these, um, you know when you hatch them from, like, babies, and you can do so much with them, and you can turn them upside down, I want to be able to do that with them, but it's so hard, but we're getting better, we're getting better, aren't we, it's only been a year, You're roasting some spuds to warm up the place. Oh, roasting spuds. See, I think it's only British and Australians that say spuds. You Americans and Canadians don't say spuds, do you? No. Potatoes. They don't say spuds. Do you, Crystal, if you got a hole in your sock, would you say it's a spud? We say, oh my gosh, I've got a spud. I don't know why we say that, but we do. You don't. We just say potatoes. Ah. Oh. No, we, uh, we say spuds. And if we have a hole in our sock, we call that a spud. Lisa, can you back me up on this? We say spuds, don't we? Well, I did in Oxford and Cornwall. I moved out here at five. Oh. Where was you from, Crystal? You did Really? So, you know when your toe pokes through your sock and you're like, damn. What would you say? I've got a hole in my sock or I've got a spud. You're Irish. Amazing. Okay, Lisa, thank you. Thank you. I was beginning to think, I am I even British? <laughs> am I even really, truly British? Okay. Well, you are, because your ancestry needs to confirm that. My ancestry, yeah, it did. I did a DNA test, and I'm totally British. It was, like it was really boring. Yes, don't bite there my top. That there was nothing exciting apart from... 1% Spain. The only other heritage i have is one percent in spain and i'm like the rest i'm 99 percent british and one percent spain <laughs> so i'm like wow i thought like maybe there's something <laughs> maybe there is something chuffing egg chuffing hell giz is just like trying to love on me right now giz watch my job liz and in England, we call the boobois jobless. <laughs> I don't even think you say boobois, do you? I think I might just make that up. But it sounded right at the time. Giz, off the boobies. Do you know what? Do you know what? All right, Bloop. All right, go to bed. Tonight, like, it's my mum's birthday today and I lost her. It's midnight in England. Oh, yeah. So, oh, yeah. it's my mum's birthday and I lost her unexpectedly. And we went for fish and chips and it was absolutely rank. Yeah, it was. It was. And I was like, wow, I'm doing this in honour of my mother. And you give me the worst fish and chips and mushy peas that I could ever require. But we tried. Oh, he is trying to steal me. He gets very, very, very possessive. But hey. Aw, Giz. It's as still as you've been. Have we got a new flock member? 
or have they just spoke? <laughs> I don't know because it said it was like hidden. Oh, you don't see what I see. You don't see what I see. A lot of people think that I just leave Gizmo in his cage, but this is a lot of the time that me and Gizmo are like this. People like to judge so bad. People do suck. There's a lot of awesome people out there, but people do. Giz, it's just me. You don't need to flinch. How much? I wouldn't even know how much money I spent on him. Spend on him. You don't like fish and chip shops anymore. Really? Why? Are you even British if you don't like that, Jacob? I think you need to get on a boat. Hi. Is it hot you? <laughs> Hi. Um, he's amazing. He's amazing. Like, he just makes... Giz, what are you trying to do? Come on. That, honestly, my birds, they say, they say, um, if you Google how long a bird should be out of its cage, it's like three, is it three hours a day? That's, that's how much Google tells you birds need to be out of a cage. My, my birds, apart from, at the minute, because we got a new rescue, and we're, we're switching them up, but they are free from the minute they wake up to the minute they go to bed. And this is a good side for you to see of Gizmo. Okay. He knows a lot of words. Okay, you're, you can tell your babies are so loved. But I, you know, I, I don't show this side because he's not talking and people want to see Gizmo talk. No, because I don't normally show it because I don't think people want to see it, which is sad. They should want to see this side of him. It is like holding a baby. I actually want to cry. Because he's like, this is the first time, like, he, I normally can, like, hold him. But I've never held him like this before. This is a first, guys. Like, he's never, like, cuddled into me like a baby before. Exactly. And if you love Gizmo, you should love every side of Gizmo. Even his soppy side. <laughs> There's a few greys that I know that their owners let them love them like this. See? You see yourself? He's a good boy. That is true, Lisa. I didn't even think of that. You're going to make me cry. You said it. I can't even say it. Oh, I think you should love it. He's cuddling me. <laughs> he does that, but. 
Okay. Oh, try to talk. Is he gonna let you cuddle him with? Oh, <laughs> he doesn't like you being close. I know. I'm just trying to comfort Mama. Okay, it's okay. It's okay, Gibbs. I'm not taking her from you. Hi, everybody. I'm always gonna talk like you in an English accent and everything. Okay. Are you gonna put him away? Huh? Loving that. He's so cute. Hmm? What'd you say? Oh, you want me to talk and distract you? Yeah, because he looks so sweet. Everyone's sending you love, baby. I'm just trying not to trigger you. So. Do you want somebody to say something? Um, just talk about screws. Okay. Everybody say the best <laughs> nut, the nut or screw joke you can think of. I'll help Emily get in a smile and laugh. Oh, thank you, Anne. I don't wanna, I don't wanna read your comment because it'll trigger her. She'll be bawling. <laughs> Jurassic said, these nuts. <laughs> and Grau said, send payments to Jim Merritt, P.O. Box. <laughs> <laughs> Kate said she's bad at nut jokes, but she said, <laughs> but she said I'll screw she's in. Bad at nut jokes, got me. I know she said I'll screw in your nut. <laughs> oh my god, I what? Bowser I says. Hate... What? Bowser said, "What do you see when the Pillsbury Doughboy bends over?" What? Huh? Again? What do you see when the Pillsbury Doughboy bends over? <laughs> You just let's slow it down. You'll see it really fast. What do you see when yeah. the Pillsbury Doughboy yeah. bends over? I don't know. Donuts. <laughs> oh do you gosh, not know? Not. Maybe you don't know Pillsbury Doughboy. I don't. Okay, that's why. But, but I don't. That's why. You said it really fast. It doesn't sound like. Okay. Oh, I'm sweating. Man, I hate when it comes out of nowhere. Come on. What's that? Good boy. I have to blow my nose. <laughs> you have to talk now. It's your job. Ugh. That would be amazing if he said that. 
I'm gonna work on saying nuts around Gizmo a lot. You okay, Gibbs? Did you get a lot of love and cuddles? Did you get loves of love and cuddles? You ready for bedtime? Should I get food ready? Yeah. I get your food ready. New food. I'm sorry everybody sorry okay so I was triggered earlier because it's my mum's birthday today and she's no longer with us and I just got triggered and then Lisa said he's been extra loving which he was he's never hugged me like that before so yeah don't feel guilty Lisa do not feel guilty no it's true it's true he's never hugged me like that never never that was the first time he's ever like hugged into me and like ever oh my gosh yes yes my mom was my mom gave the best hugs the best hugs ever but like even like even my friends when I was growing up, my friends would say to me, your mum gives the best hugs ever. And we're all family. We are, we, we are a flock and I love you guys. I love you guys. Like, and Kate, I love you. And I'm, I'm sorry if my like, I don't like to trigger you, but sometimes I get triggered. Do you give him his food? Yeah. yeah he's going to bed. <laughs> Thank you, what Bowser. You he's going to bed. He likes his, he likes his food. Love you, boy. Oh. oh, my gosh. Ubers. I'm going to go to bed with swollen eyes. Mm. I'm, not, I'm not an attractive crier as well. My mum always used to say to me, we're ugly criers. <laughs> Ugly criers. Hey, Bruce. Sorry, I've just cried for the last half an hour. Gosh. <sighs> he does love me and I love him. He's just like, 
The thing is with me, let me lower it for it. The thing with me and this boy here is like, he came into my life. Let me get rid of that floof. He came into my life not long after I lost my mum. I can't remember how long it was after, but I, I was in a bad place. Such a bad place. I didn't realise how badly I was so depressed. Like, like Kyle and my kids were so worried about me. And, and then I'm like, I want Gizmo, <laughs> you know? And they're like, mm, okay. But he came into my life when I needed him. And he helped me and I helped him. And we like literally saved each other because I think if I wasn't, as vulnerable as I was, and he wasn't as vulnerable as he was. I don't think our relationship and our success story as as it is now would have been as good. So it was definitely, it was definitely meant to be that we just came into times when we both needed each other. Hi, Hug Bloom. You have a beautiful name. You love filled voids. Definitely. I'm a believer, too. <laughs> you can't think of any screw jerks. Oh, oh Cubit. Oh, Bruce, sorry. I, I, <laughs> oh, my gosh. Everything was, like, all fun and games until, like... And, and Lisa, do not take any guilt on this. Do not take any guilt. But today... Well, it's not today. It's to actually tomorrow. But because Lisa's British and I'm British, it's today for us. Um... Even though I live in Canada, today is my mum's birthday. So, but it's on the 20th. So, I think, Crystal, you're already a day ahead. Is she in the 20th or the 21st? I don't know. You naughty boy. I could just imagine. Oh, you are on the 20th. So today is my wonderful mother's birthday. She would have been 74 today. And she was a wonderful, wonderful woman. She was so funny. Huh. She was a funny, funny lady. She's proud of you, baby. I hope so. She is. I know she is. Q, go to bed. Cuber. Stop. Go to bed, Cuber. <laughs> <laughs> Only feathers, Daddy. I could just imagine <laughs> him like that. I don't know why it does it on the phone like that, baby. I know, I don't get it. It doesn't do that on my computer. You okay? Yeah, I didn't want to cry today. Well, mission not accomplished. <sighs> We actually own we we actually own the domain for only feathers with a double V. Yeah, as only I said, feathers. Only feathers, because I'm <laughs> British and we don't say the T H. We say vs. So we we actually got only feathers. Bruce, we need to do an only feathers, and we just take pictures of like the like <laughs> their feet and shit, <laughs> and then regurgitate it. <laughs> 
<laughs> no, actually, no, that might open a sick world. We might open a whole new sick world, so we we don't need to do that. <laughs> oh, Giz. Ugh. Right, I'm good now. I'm good. Ugh. Yep, I'm good. Right, you ready? You gonna come say goodbye? Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, Cosmo is probably too busy sleeping right now, but she probably did say a lot of the carols. Before she went to bed, bless her. She's two hours in front of us, isn't she? Um, yeah, she is. Bruce is one hour. And Cos is two. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right. Oh, was she? Oh, did she come into your live? Ah, oh, she's... She's the same time zone as Kate. Yeah, Gizmo... Gizmo's not really been on one today. Yes, you have to go and check out Bruce. Bruce is Qbert's dad. You have to follow him. And obviously, Cosmo, the funny parrot. <laughs> and they're in a relationship. You need to do a little wedding. I think you need to make an honest woman out of her. <laughs> we need to have a bird wedding. That'd be so cute. What stream? Are you still streaming? <laughs> Only feathers with a double V, okay? Feather. Oh, you're streaming again? Don't, just keep streaming. Keep it going. I'm surprised he's even like, um, he's not dropping any of it. <laughs> right, come on, come say goodbye. Come on, come here. Come here. Come here. Come, here. come, here. come say hi. Come say bye. Goodbye. See you later. <laughs> No, thank you, everybody. For We're gonna out with us. thank you so much. I'm sorry I cried. I did not intentionally mean that. It just happened. How long is this live? This is a long yeah, live. Yeah. Did you put short long live? No, I didn't. Oh. I don't know what. Because sometimes we put short live and, and then it's it like goes six three. Hours. <laughs> and then people are like, "That's short." Sheesh. Sheesh. And we have to change the title quickly <laughs> so people don't judge us. <laughs> Think okay. we're clickbaiting them. But anyway, thank you so much for being with us tonight. Yeah. We appreciate every single one of you. Thank you, Lisa. Thank you, Kate. Thank you, Bruce or Cuba. I'm not sure which one is which. And thank you, every single person that has shown us love. Mm-hmm. And hung out with us today. And the hung end. out with us. I see some of you. We see you. We do. We appreciate you. And there's 69 viewers. Still. Still, after all this time of That's 215 it. minutes and seven sec nine oh, seconds. Why did somebody leave? I wanted to end right on 69. <laughs> <laughs> wow, we just need one more viewer because we can't leave until it's 69. <laughs> it's a bit immature. 
share this live. <laughs> yeah, but then it'll be too many. There'll be too many. And then I'll just we're have like, to kick people then out. Then we're like, sleep live. <laughs> and we're just, you can just watch us sleep. <laughs> oh, shoot. Oh, damn. We've gone right down. Okay. okay. <laughs> As Cuba would say, good night, everybody. No, he doesn't. That's what it is. Cuba would say, go, go to, to bed. bed. <laughs> Mixing our birds up. Damn. Okay. Okay. Good night. Good night. <laughs> See you later. Goodbye.